Hello and welcome. I am Matt Taylor and this is my variety channel. Today I have another Adobe Premiere tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to do a freeze frame, slow motion and fast motion all in Premiere. Really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's get started. All right, here we are over in Adobe Premiere. Depending on how you have your layout set up, it may look the same or different. Um, just depends on how you have it set up. And now we have a clip here that we want to work with. And I'm just going to do right click, new sequence from clip. Or you can go down here and click on new item and do a sequence that way. And drop your clip in. I always just do new sequence from clip for the most part, if I want to work with individual clips. And here is our clip. We'll just play it. It's of the surfer guy. And then he goes up for this jump and keeps going and ends. All right, pretty simple. And what we want to do is I want to, right when he jumps, I'm going to do a couple of different things. I want to do slow motion for this whole jump and then return to the normal motion. And then I also want to do a freeze frame. And then have it continue. Um, and I just want to show you how to do that. And then I can also show you how to speed up the clip as well. It's kind of a common effect you'll see in movies and whatnot, where maybe pe people are walking in slow motion and then the music hits a certain beat and then all of a sudden they speed up a little or there's a freeze frame. Pretty cool things like that. So first let's do the slow motion. And so I want to pick the part where I want to start my slow motion, which is right about here is when he's starting his jump. So I'm just going to hit the C key on my keyboard. I'm on a Mac and click right here and just cut that. And then we want to scrub through a little bit until he's done. Maybe right there is well where we'll end the slow motion. All right, and now what I want to do is I want to just drag this clip over here a little bit. Now, true slow motion is done in camera. Like you will film at like 250 frames per second, and then you'll drop that in a like a 24 frame per second timeline, and then you can make it like a native slow motion. So we're just going to do like what we're just going to do like a fake slow motion that does a good job, but not it's not quite as good as um, with the camera. Now what we want to do is we'll take this, we'll right click, we'll go to speed duration, and then we want to speed this down. You can either go by duration or you can go by speed. Like if you want to do 50%, we can just start with 50%. You can also just type it in there, 50%. And if you notice, it, it makes our time for that little clip longer. And then we can play and see how slow it gets. It didn't really do that much of an effect. It did it, but not that much. So let's slow it down even more. Right click, speed duration. And I want to go down even further, maybe really exaggerate the slow-mo 10%. Something like that. It may have overlapped this click or this clip right here. So to prevent that, let's just undo. We're going to drag this way down here even further and then go back in and just make sure that it's not overlapping any but 10%. And now I want to see what that looks like. It's a lot slower. Kind of more what I want to see, which is cool. And you can notice how it's a little bit jerky. And that's just the end. That's just what happens if you try to do this. You try to fake the slow motion without having it in camera. But then he stops. I'm pretty happy with that. And just to make sure it's completely smooth, we'll render effects into out. We'll just render this. Make sure it plays smoothly. Let's watch this whole clip again. A 
pretty cool. Really cool. Okay, so let's say we want to do a freeze frame now. It goes up, and we want to freeze frame it right there at the top. So we can zoom in here, we can do a cut mark there, and then we'll zoom back out, and we will drag these over. Zoom back in. We'll come over here, we'll click on this, and then we'll do right click. We'll click on this little tiny clip, right click, and we'll do frame hold options. And you come down here to sequence time code. And now you can drag this over and look, he's staying put. Alternatively, you can come up here and do export frame or command E and you can export a frame, which is that frame and then import it in here and drag it over if you want to do it that way. And then we can drag our frame over here and drop it down in here. And that's the same frame. So either way, whatever way that you want to do it. I like to just do this because it saves time, I think. So now we got this going, he goes up, stops, keeps going. Pretty cool. So what if we want to come in slow motion and then come into a freeze frame? Maybe you could just put some text on there. And this part, instead of doing slow motion again, we want to come back up here and we want to go the opposite way. What if we want to speed it up a little? So just drag it the other way. And it makes the clip really short, freezes, and goes real quick. Freezes, and goes real quick. Pretty neat. So he's going, jumps, slow motion, freeze frame, speed up, land. Really neat. And we'll just show that fast motion again right here in this area. Maybe we want to go fast into, into the speed or into the slow-mo. So I'm going to speed this up by maybe 337%. And we can see what that looks like. Goes up, goes up to slow. Freeze frame, lands. Awesome. So that's just a great way to kind of mix up your timeline if you're doing some kind of a video and you want to, um, you know, time it to the beats of your music or something like that, or you want to pause it just so you can add some cool text, whatever you want to do. All right. That is how you do fast motion, slow motion, and freeze frame all in Adobe Premiere. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to hit that like button. It'll really help me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Until next time, happy editing, everyone.